Today's demonstration is of the Romanov RCS centrifugal casting machine. There's a lot of unique features about this machine that separates it from other types of centrifugal casting machines. One, it has a nice size to it, very well made, heavy duty. You have a built-in vacuum pump and a built-in cooling system. The machine is 220 volt, single phase, so all you need to do is just plug and play. There's some really other great features that this machine has. One is the rotating coil. As mentioned, what's really unique about this machine than any other machine is its rotating coil. All induction centrifugal casting machines have a coil which heats up the crucible, which in return heats up the metal. But for other machines, how they work is that the coil heats up the metal. Once it reaches a set temperature, the machine will drop the coil and then start the centrifugal process of casting. And what people have to do is they'll have to raise the temperature higher to compensate for that heat loss when the coil drops before the metal uh, goes into the flask, into the mold. But with our machine, as I mentioned, it's a rotating coil, as you can see. So the rotating coil allows heat to continue on the crucible during the whole casting process. So when the metal is transitioning from the crucible to the flask, it's under heat, which allows us to cast at lower temperatures, and that lower temperature is a great way to ensure you get really, really good castings. The Romanoff RCS control panel has a built-in microprocess as your computer. There's five different settings. The first one is the power. You can control how much power you want to use from the generator, which is a four kilowatt generator, to melt the metal. This also will determine how fast it's going to melt the metal as well too. Right now it's set for 100%. A lot of the time we like to run the machine at 90%. Next is the temperature setting. Right here it tells you what the actual temperature is set for. This is the actual setting, set temperature. This is the actual temperature that the optical pyrometer is reading from the metal. The next setting is the emissivity. Each metal that emits different levels of light. So for example, platinum or white gold has a high emissivity level, so we're gonna run at a lower percentage. So we like to run between 30 to 40%. Gold can be a little bit uh, less emissivity, so we're gonna do it 35 to 45%. And then the lowest emissivity level is stainless steel, which we'll set this for 70% if we were casting stainless steel. The next setting is the torque. The torque represents how much energy is going to be exerted from the centrifugal force and at what time. So right now we have it set in a half a second uh, full torque after the machine starts the centrifugal uh, casting. So that gives enough time for the metal to transition and then the torque kicks in to ensure that you got a nice heavy casting and a good fill. The last setting is the speed, which is the revolutions per minute, how fast you want the machine to spin during the casting cycle. So very thin pieces could be at a higher RPM and then the heavier pieces could be at a lower RPM. The other controllers on here are the um, F2. F2 allows you, when you press this, allows you to stop the centrifugal casting in case you notice there was a reason to do that. You also have your emergency stop button here as well, which shuts the power off of the whole machine. This gauge right here will uh, show you how much vacuum you're drawing when you press the vacuum feature on the casting machine. This right here tells you that the machine is powered up, and right here uh, is an alarm to tell you if there was an error. For example, if the water system inside was to uh, run hot or was uh, not enough water, uh, this would, uh, alarm would go off, which would tell you to stop using the machine. At the bottom part of the control panel, we have four different settings here. We have melt, which actually starts the melting. We have actually casting, when you're ready to cast. We have vacuum. We have argon. So let's start with these two. We're going to first load the metal, load the flask, close the cover and we're going to press melt. Then after we press melt, we're, which is going to start heating up the metal, we're going to press vacuum. 
So now the metal is melting under vacuum. Once it reaches a full vacuum, which is quite quick from the internal vacuum pump, we're gonna shut the vacuum pump off based on the reading from the gauge. And at that point, we're gonna press argon and it's gonna backfill this chamber, the casting chamber, with argon gas and while it's melting. So it's melting in an inert atmosphere. Once it reaches its set temperature, this machine is four kilowatts of power, which can happen within a minute. At that point, we're gonna press our cast and then it's gonna start the casting cycle. When you receive the machine, you have three different size flask saddles. The largest flask diameter that you can put in here is three inch and the longest length is three inches. In millimeters, the machine is designed for an 80 millimeter length by 75 millimeter width. These are the medium size, and this is the smaller size. This right here is a spacer. You get a couple of spacers as well that click onto the back of the uh, flask saddle, and that allows you to use smaller diameter flasks if you want to use less investment. When it comes to casting, you have two different types of crucibles. You have a gold crucible, which is graphite with a ceramic liner, and then you have the platinum crucible, which is all ceramic. What's actually reading the metal temperature is the optical pyrometer right here. When you're doing platinum or other high temperature metals, you want to use your protector, the lens right here, which allows the operator to look at the crucible, at the platinum crucible, when it's reaching full temperature. It reads through the protective lens and it will tell us what's the temperature of the gold crucible or the platinum crucible of the metal inside. When you're using platinum, which gives out a lot of brightness, it's very bright, you want to close the protective lens and that allows the operator to see with, without or minimizing the chances of hurting his eyes. What we'd like to do is show you how powerful this machine is. I have my gold crucible and I put Roma gold in there, which melts at about 1100 degrees. So we're going to time it. Let's start. There we go. Four kilowatt generator ensures you get a fast melt. Crucible is already melting, heating up and the metal is starting to glow at 20 seconds. And we're gonna see how long it takes for the metal to break. There we go, the metal is starting to drop at 30 seconds. There we go. And we have full molten metal at 34 seconds. I'm gonna stop the melt now. Okay, we're gonna show you the before and after. This is the crucible, the molten metal is now solidified. This is the grain, what it looked like before. That's it.